Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I am going to be doing a Neon Ninja build in 2021, and you can thank this guy right here for suggesting this to me, and if you want to see any other builds, anything Trove related, let me know in the comments below, and you might be in the future video. So, let's get on to the build. I'm going to keep this nice, short, and simple, hopefully, that that's the plan here. So, for Neon Ninja, he's going to be a speedy type build. So, what you want to do, I guess I'll just start with the gear. So, what I do is I go movement speed on the bottom stat. These are all crystal four gear. So, assuming you have everything maxed, this is how everything should look. So, with the hat, movement speed on the bottom, magic find in the middle, and then critical damage just above that. And then the other two stats are just going to be the same. And obviously, they're pulled up. So, that one's done. So, we go on to the weapon. This one's got movement speed, magic find, crit damage, same thing pretty much. And then the very top one has physical damage. Uh, those stats are just like that. So then we go on to the face. Now this one, I put on attack speed. So the thing with Neon Ninja, you can uh, swap one of the crit damage stats for attack speed if you wish. I just went with attack speed for one of the stats because I already have a bunch. I basically already one shot, so there's really no point. So... I just go with attack speed for this one, magic find movement speed, and that's basically it for the gear. As for the ring, I go physical damage, critical hit, but with this new dragon that came out, I think you can swap out critical hit for magic find at this point. Uh, I haven't really tested this out because I kind of missed the Friday, so I don't really have the new dragon, so I'm just missing that for mastery. So, uh, yeah, going to have to do something about that. But I'm pretty sure, like, once you get that dragon, once you have every bit of, like, critical hit you can, you can swap this out for magic find and get the most the most out of that, pretty much. And then food, th this is just optional. I, I just go for light. Having more light means more damage in U10 and just anywhere else. Hey, shout out to Astrid. All right, so, allies. I go with animated jug only because this gives you movement speed. Obviously, we got a speed build here, so... I'm just going to go with movement speed here, and it's got a nice boost of physical damage, and it gives you light. So this is going to be the best ally to go with for Neon Ninja. The banner, this is the Perma Torch I go with for Neon Ninja. I go with uh, light physical damage. I make sure movement speed is there. You could go with attack speed, but I just don't see a point. So I just go with movement speed. The more the better, pretty much. Uh, emblems, I go with Zealous, so you can refill your energy. So for, I mean, that just means more backflips. Um... Death Defying, I just use in Delves, so, so I don't get one shot, depending on the depth I'm in, but you can swap this out for Conjurers, if you have the Magic Find, obviously. And then lastly, we go Trailblazing to get that extra bit of movement speed. So that's going to be it for that, pretty much. Everything else is just optional. I just use Magic Find for this, and uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter what you use. I just go with more Magic Find, because, I don't know, it's nice having good loot. Alright, now let's go on to the gems. So... With the gems, gems are a little bit tricky. I did make a guide on this, so if you want to, you can go check that out before uh, watching this step, or you can just watch this and I'll just explain it to you. <laughs> so, I'll just start with the Clash Gems. So this is Neon Ninja's main Clash Gem. You're gonna want that, it's pretty important. So get that, and the stats you wanna go with it are physical damage, crit damage, critical hit. Make sure you have zero boosts onto critical hit, and I'll show you what I mean. So if you go to the Gem Forge, you can see these uh, little circles pearls whatever you want to call it i forgot the actual name of it but i'll just call it boosts so you have no boosts into critical hit that is what you want because if you have boosts into critical hit that means you're going to be missing out on some damage so just make sure they're evenly spread out between physical and crit damage throughout all of your gems and that's going to be it pretty much uh so yeah that's pretty much for the lesser gems as well but i'll just keep going through the class gems so i go with vampirian for this one just for the movement speed, it's pretty important. Oh, with Cosmics, all boosts into light. I forgot to mention that. And no critical hit for these ones. It'll just make sense as I just continue explaining. So this is Pyro Disc. Obviously, more movement speed. Who doesn't want that? And then lastly, I use Cubic Curtain. You can switch this vol for Volatile Velocity. Because if you throw your Shuriken, it'll throw it faster. But Trove is just a laggy game. I honestly just don't care less. Or I could care less, I should say. So I go with Cubic Curtain. You could switch it out for Volatile up to you but uh that's just what i roll with and as you can see no boosts into critical hit anywhere and they're all completely maxed out so this is what a maxed out gem would look like and just try to evenly uh distribute your boosts for physical damage and critical damage all right and i think that's gonna be it and apart from that i just use this costume here if you want to copy me i i use mass mercenary 
sometimes I might switch to a different one, but that's pretty much the main one I rock. So that's that. Oh, uh, everyone always asks about the scythe that I use. If you want to know that, it's right over here called Grinning Sickle. I, I don't know why, but I always get asked this all the time. So that's the one I use. I'm pretty sure it's from the costume from the adventure boxes, the locked adventure boxes. Don't quote me on that though, but I'm pretty sure that's where you get it. Anyway, that's going to be it for the Neon Ninja build. You can pause it anywhere. If, you, if something was kind of confusing, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I can help. Hopefully this like was a good tutorial, a good build. We'll see. Let me know in the comments. Either way, if you liked it or if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next video. I'm out.